how has social distancing changed you? You know, we've spent enough time isolated in our homes, developing new habits, new rhythms, and new coping mechanisms, and we're not the same people that we were eight weeks ago. As I look back on my last eight weeks, I see how the simple daily decision to just stay at home, away from people, has changed me. You know, on the positive side, I'm more reflective about life. And on the negative side, I see that I'm more self-centered and just looking at me. I see how interacting with family, friends, with work and with church over technology instead of in person has made me a more tired and emotionally disconnected person. And we are all being formed by our circumstances and shaped by our daily decisions. So much of who we become, it's not related to the big decisions that we make, but to the thousands of small choices that we make every day. See, what we do shapes who we are. And this week, the Gospels ask us this question, what is shaping who we become? This past week, while listening to the Gospels on the Dwell app, we heard Jesus say to his disciples in Luke 9, verse 23, if anyone would come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. In the way of Jesus, God deeply cares about who we become. And God meets us where we are, but he does not leave us there. He has a plan and a purpose to change who we become, to become more like Jesus. And God doesn't change who we are all at once, but bit by bit, as we daily make choices to follow him. And the choice that Jesus calls us to make in this passage is not a pleasant or an easy one. See, to daily take up our cross, it means daily putting to death the idea and the actions that express that our lives are about us. Taking up our cross, it means killing selfish ambition and pride and taking on humility and obedience. Taking up our cross daily, it looks like forming habits of prayer and of learning from God's word and of loving our neighbor as acts of obedience to God, as steps of surrender which say, my life is not my own and it's not about me, but my life belongs to God and it's for His glory. I struggle with this. I mean, I struggle to start my day with my Bible instead of my email. I struggle to pray for help and wisdom instead of just reacting to problems. I struggle to look beyond my own needs to go and serve my family and my neighbors. But when I choose to pick up my cross and live out the truth that my life is not about me, but God, it's better. Not just for God, but for me and those around me too. In the next two verses, Jesus says, for whoever would save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for my sake will save it. For what does it profit a man if he gains the whole world and loses or forfeits himself? You know, daily choosing to build habits that humble us before God, rhythms that center our life around him, and coping mechanisms that draw us back to him as our refuge and rescuer, doing those things will cost us. Daily going to God in prayer, in his word, and in serving others, it will take more time, more emotional energy, and more saying no to what we would naturally want to do than we would like. But Jesus' promise is that picking up our cross daily will ultimately bring us to the perfection and peace that we all long for. Because Jesus picked up his cross in obedience to the Father and at great cost to himself, we who follow Jesus have the hope and the promise that all of the brokenness and angst and hurt that we can't fix on our own, it will be swallowed up and replaced by an eternal life of forever enjoying perfect relationship with our God and of delighting in the perfectly pleasing peace of the new heavens and the new earth. It will cost us to daily pick up our cross, but Jesus' way is better than ours, both now and forever. And so this week, let's be shaped, let's be formed, let's become more like Jesus through our small daily choices to pray, to learn from God's word and to serve others. And we won't be changed all at once, but bit by bit, the Holy Spirit will do his work to shape us, to become more like Jesus as we obey our Heavenly Father and recognize that our lives are not about us, but him. If you'd like to join me in listening through the Gospels on the Dwell app, you can create your free account on Dwell as a gift from Nona Church by following the link below. And this week, let's take up our cross daily so that what we do in humble obedience to God the Father may be used by God the Holy Spirit to shape us as a people becoming more like God the Son, Jesus. 
I'll see you next week for our next episode of the Dwell Devotional. Be blessed.